massive rat infestation. Guys, this could be the most complicated or the most simple rat finding we'll ever deal with. And the reason why we're about to show you right, right now. now. There's a couple guys, Kevin and Kyle, that live in this home that have been experiencing rat infestation for a very, very long time. We're about to show you a bathroom that's already been demoed, but they can't continue on with the bathroom remodel because of these rats. They've caught over 25. They're thinking 45 rats, but they stopped counting after 25. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. And the tough part about this house is that it's on a slab foundation. The exterior is solid. It's all stucco. It's a flat roof with yep. elastic merit coating that shows no signs of entry points so this is going to be a complicated one but we're up for the challenge all right guys dave and uh, the crew are starting to get inside starting the prep work uh we're going to plastic everything off uh open up we're going to remove the toilet open up the walls and then um, i think there's something behind those walls because when you walk in and you get close to this little hole where i'm about to show you the urine and the odor is so intense so i think there's a nest behind that wall so uh let's find out if i'm right all right guys so this neighborhood i guess has a sort of history of rat infestation so hopefully we can help some other neighbors because a lot of neighbors if we can solve this they talk and uh we're hearing that a lot of pest control companies are not solving the issues on this street so um big challenge ahead here at our customers here's the roof here you can tell that they've uh they've already covered everything so right below this area right here is that bathroom here's that vent stack the toilet vent stack here we're going to begin to open up here we got the line set up here so okay oh look at that right there guys Ooh. look at that right there yeah oh wow there's a big nest right there too yeah guys a lot of times the mold that you see here could be rat urine soaking in causing a uh, a mold issue at the same time right there that's him completely chewed through that pipe right there okay. Okay. Open the door. Open the door. you got a rat got a rat there's a rat yeah there's a rat right here give me the i need the puller i grab it grab the sucker hold on Guys, let's block off that hole just in case there's other rats in there. And we will get them blocked here because they're, they're going in. They're going in this right here. That's where that other rat went. Okay, guys, there's, one inside. there's a no, nest. Where? In the hole? Um, in the plywood. There's a hole in the plywood, so it went inside. Oh, okay. All right. What's be on, um, behind this? Go ahead. Let's move that. Oh, huh? Look at all that nesting material. It was right there. Jim, Jim, it's right there. Hey, Jim. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Yeah. There it is right there. Look at that. Yeah, right there. Yeah, look at the smoke, guys. Look at the smoke. Look at that baby. Huh? Look at that baby right there. Okay, cap this off. Grab his tail. Yeah. Grab his tail. Right there. Guys, those baby rats scared the heck out of me. I peed my pants. <laughs> All right, guys, we're up into the uh, ceiling cavity here. You can see they've just been taken over and been biting the, uh, the drywall. Get over here. So this whole ceiling is going to have to come out. 
There's rat urine all over here. So how long has this been going on for, the rats? Oh, probably six months. Six months? Uh, we started trapping right away, and then it seemed to taper off. Yeah, you yeah. But then it came back up. And Kevin, and then they were saying that they picked up like yeah, over 25, 40 rats? Over a long time. Wow. And then the other pest control company came out. What did they? Well, all they would, all they offered was to smoke the pipes because they said they thought the exterior looked fairly good. Got it. Okay. So no repair. Oh, got it. Okay. That's where you guys came in. Nice. Man, that feels good. That feels so, so good when you can come in and locate the breaches. So it's super exciting. Another success. Another success. Taking out all that ceiling here. Oh, the rat! The rat! <laughs> I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and now cut out that pipe, and our master plumber Raul is gonna go ahead and put a new ABS Santi. That all set up. Right about here, you want it? Uh, yeah. All right, so we've got the new pipe in here, we've got the dirty arm, new sand tee. Good job, Raul. Here's the finish. All right, guys, we accomplished it. You can see the wood, it's still wet from all our sanitizing. Pipe is all fixed. We went ahead and shoved some very thick gauge inside there. That way they don't come out. We did the exclusions up top. We did set some traps just to monitor over the next few days. See if we get anything. I doubt it because everything's been excluded. Very, very happy with the results here. All right, guys. Woo! It actually ended up being one be of the easiest. easiest it was not one. complicated. Yeah. Uh, you know, thank, thanks to our team, you guys. We. Everybody worked together and uh, accomplished that one. And by opening up again walls and doing that smoke test, we were able to I'm find exactly able to find where it. it was. So boy, that bathroom smelled pretty bad. And I'm a little embarrassed that we didn't catch those two rats, but they went down that shower drain, and uh, they're they're off and running in the Phoenix sewer system. Oh, hey, if you're a pest control company or a homeowner, if you're out of state, you need help, we do have a $39 consulting. If you're a pest control company, recommend us. Let's work together. Hey, guys, leave your comments down below. Love to hear what you'd have to say about this little journey. Hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next one.